think uh, Sasha Marat is a unique case of a serious neurodegenerative disease in a creative person. It's, it's very vital for his well-being to keep doing what he can do. He's genius. Unlike other people who came to New York, I was very lucky because the uh, first place I went to show my portfolio was the New York Times. The art director liked me and uh, she just gave me a to make an illustration on the spot. It was the beginning of a collaboration that lasted 20 years. I was so happy. This was finished when I was diagnosed with uh, Parkinson's. Stress was the number one enemy. At one point, his friends told him, there is something wrong with you. Why are you so slow? You move so, you're so stiff. And that's how he became my patient. So I went to see this doctor uh, and he told me immediately, uh, you have uh, early Parkinson's. And I was outraged. I said, how can you give me such a... Uh, I didn't even know what that means. In general, people with Parkinson have a difficulty with their balance. They, they cannot initiate movements very spontaneously. They feel that they have to struggle to make a first step. So I think we have to take a break because I, I need to take my dopamine. I was in denial uh, for a while. We tried uh, like six other doctors and uh, finally after about half a year, probably we, we came to terms. Uh, in the initial phase, I, I couldn't use my right hand. Uh, so I started uh, shifting functions to my left hand and um, had to relearn how to draw. I would start basically uh, tabula rasa, you know, I would start with a line and didn't know exactly where it will take me. So I was trying to surprise myself every time I was making a drawing. And uh, when uh, that happened, uh, um, there was the serotonin uh, burst. So I, uh, I realized that uh, this is the, the clue. Basically to create as many jump, this uh, injection of uh, serotonin in the system. And um, the more I have, the better my day is. The basic course of my uh, coming back into the art scene was um, when I realized that my, it's my only chance, you know, to survive this with sanity. Your work didn't look like this at all before. No. After I was diagnosed, I had this uh, opening uh, uh, to other ways of, of working. What's specific for, for uh, Parkinson's is this obsessive compulsive uh, component. I use it to my advantage. People look uh, at my work and say, oh, how could you stay and put together 4,000 spoons? They don't understand that. For me, this is like healing. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, uh, putting one next to the other. It was like, ah, oh, one, one less devil in hell. <laughs> Everything you, you create uh, uh, destroys a devil. <laughs> My process is in good measure going to the street. I notice the discarded things that could be transformed into something more precious. Yeah, 
I call um, what I do art chemistry. Uh, which is sort of uh, alchemy that was trying to find how to transform everything into gold. In my case, art. And it's uh, with uh, Neapolitan. I don't have uh, a plan, you know. And uh, you can practically take a piece of furniture and dismantle it and uh, re recombine it and make uh, an airplane, <laughs> you know. You cannot be wrong and it's very gratifying. You know, I, I, I've learned this from my mother. You create your universe every moment. Let's say I, I'm, I'm working on something and uh, I drop it because uh, it happens with PD and uh, it breaks and I, I don't even blink. I'm extremely lucky. As a teenager, I never would have imagined me, Sasha Merritt, artist in New York. This is a, a battle that I'm winning every day. So far. <laughs> um.